Hello and welcome to the Richland High School Tax Math YouTube page. This YouTube page is set up to help juniors and seniors with the skills that they need in order to pass the Texas State Tax Math Test exit level. Now the videos that you're going to find below are videos that cover skills in the courses of Algebra 1 and Geometry that you need to pass the test. Now there are a couple of things that I need to inform you of before you begin these videos. First, these videos are not set up in order to help you pass Algebra 1 or Geometry. They are the videos that cover the topics that are needed to pass the Texas Tax Test. Now, these videos might help you in Algebra 1 or Algebra, excuse me, Geometry, but they are not meant to help you with the course. You learned a lot more skills in Algebra 1 and a lot more skills in Geometry that are not in these videos. These videos are strictly to help students pass the Texas State Exit Level Tax Test. So I want to make sure that everyone understands that first. Now, when you start to use these videos, it's very important that you know how to use them. When I made these videos, what I did was I took each separate topic, started from the beginning, and showed you how to do it. And then I have a video directly after that called Now You Try. So here's what you need to do. Every time that you watch a video, you need to have four things. You need to have paper, you need to have pencil, a calculator, and the mathematics chart that's used on the tax test. Those four things you'll need for every video. Now, I will refer back to that mathematics chart when needed, but you'll need to make sure and have that in your possession. If you don't have one, go see your math teacher, or you can Google it, and you can print that mathematics chart for the Texas tax test and have a copy of it. So those four things you will need each time that you watch a video. Now, when you start a video, I'm going to begin with a skill, and I'm going to work through some problems with you. Make sure that you write down everything that I do and work the problem with me. That helps you practice the skill and you're doing it with me. When you go to the next video after that, it's called Now You Try. And it's your turn to try the skill that we just did in the first video, but you try them on your own. After you've worked the problems, then play the video and you can watch me work, walk through those problems with you and you can check and see how you did. Now, the Now You Try videos will have 5, 6, 10, maybe 12 questions. And you'll work the first few and we'll check them together. But there are extra problems there for you to practice just in case you didn't get them right the first time. If you don't get them right and you don't understand how to do them and you've watched both videos a couple of times, you may want to take that skill to your math teacher or maybe a trusted friend to help you so that you learn how to do that skill. That's probably one of the questions that you're not getting correct on the test. So you want to learn each skill one at a time as you go along. Now I suggest that when you start the video, start with video number one and then the now you try for video number one. Then go to video number two and then the now you try. Do them in order. They're meant to build on each other. Don't do them out of order, it can be confusing. So you're going to go through all of the Algebra 1 videos, and then you're going to go into the playlist called Geometry. And you'll do exactly the same thing. You'll start with Video 1, and then Now You Try. Video 2, then Now You Try. Do them all in order, take all the notes with me, and then practice the problems yourself. I always come back and practice the answers with you to see if you know what you're doing. If for some reason you're not getting it, Go see your teacher or that friend and get the extra help you need. Sometimes the difference in passing and failing is just two, three, four, maybe five questions. And if you can figure out how to do them, then maybe you can pass the next administration of the Texas tax test. Now, you're about to start working on the videos. Now, I've already mentioned that there's an Algebra 1 playlist and a Geometry playlist. Well, where I want you to start first, as soon as this video is over, I want you to go to the playlist called general algebra skills and I want you to practice those first it's gonna practice mathematics skills in algebra such as multiplying dividing adding subtracting things with positive and negative charges do those basic algebra skill videos first then go to the playlist called algebra one after you've done all of those then do geometry good luck with the videos and I hope they're very helpful for you